In this episode of the Barefoot Mailman, we kayak the Silver River and Silver Springs, dine at the Blackwater Inn in Astor, Florida, and finish the weekend kayaking at Kona Beach. And as you would know it, the GoPro has issue with not enough audio, so I'm going to have to narrate the whole trip. Silver Springs is about a two hour drive, 100 miles from Newport Ritchie, mainly interstate driving. Located on State Road 40 on the east side of Ocala is Silver Springs State Park. Sometimes this guard shack is manned, sometimes it isn't. The parking lot for the kayak canoe launch is in the very back and there's always plenty of parking. Take the little trail that loops around where you see a unload and load spot right there in front of the Tanya was quick to point out the alligator sign. After paying the $2 per person entrance fee and $4 per boat fee, we launched into the Silver River on a carpeted launch. This part of the river is actually a made man-made channel that goes into the main. At this point, my wife was warning me about all the attack turtles you see everywhere. The water is crystal clear and about 72 degrees. And once you approach the first bridge, if this is a trail bridge, you can either go right and continue down the man-made channel, or you can go under the bridge towards the main spring. So we went under the bridge to the main spring, that way we can paddle downstream. At this point, we were having a discussion about alligators and turtles and monkeys. There is no turning back at this point, so let's go. Coming out of the channel opens up to the main river, the Silver River and we head over towards the largest spring on the river. In the late 1900s, the park became a tourist destination for Northerners. It was privately owned up to 2013 when it became Silver Springs State Park. So we'll float here to the uh, glass bottom boats uh, that are circling over the spring. Um, to give them plenty of room. Uh, they look like the original boats that I rode back in the 70s. This is the largest of springs and it dumps about 550 million gallons of water daily. Uh, the water heads down to the Silver River 
to the Oklahoma River, and then eventually to the St. Johns River. Several springs along the um, river. Uh, there's no swimming allowed here, nor is there any fishing allowed the whole length of the Silver River. The Black Bottom's boat takes you for a trip down the river and it circles over a couple of the springs on those canoes. There is a separate sea to ride the Black Bottom boat. Because the Silver River is a public waterway, you can bring a private boat up the river. There's a boat ramp located on State Road 40, 40 at the Oklahoma River. Um, there's a fee for launching, I don't remember if that's five dollars. But you can go up the full length of the river all the way up to the spring. As you go down the river, there's plenty of turtles on logs. Um, the alligators are there, they're just a little harder to see. And when we go up the man-made channel, uh, you'll see more of them as you get closer and the river's pretty wide at this point, and it averages, I have my guess, about 6 to 20 feet deep. You can do the whole loop in about um, an hour, depending on how fast you paddle, but it's, it's under 2 miles to do the complete loop. As we get further away from the main spring, the river starts to narrow, and then the Silver River becomes a uh, narrow river, still averaging about six feet all the way to the boat. to a point on the river where you'll see the channel on the right. There's like a low fence there. This is where you need to turn in to go back up the main main channel back towards boat land. If you continue south, you'll have to paddle back upstream to get back to this point and back to your launch point. Digging of the channel created an island um, named after Ross County, who used to be a world famous reptile and snake expert. This is where you'll find the monkeys. It is estimated that there's over 200 monkeys on this island. Here is one of the many turtles you'll see along the cruise down the river. 
here's our first close up of one of the alligators. You can see them, they're more of a black color, sunning themselves. They regulate their body temperature by either laying in the sun or going in the water to cool off. But this is the first one that alligators eat about one meal a week, so hopefully they have already ate this week. Beyond this post here is a motorboat exclusion, so motors aren't allowed into the uh, main main channel. Paddling back up the man-made uh, channel, uh, the current's very uh, not even noticeable. So it's a very easy paddle down and it's an easy paddle back up. You were able to take a river cruise down this part of the canal and there was an old Seminole village and an old western fort, uh, Fort King Fort, that was set up on the side of the river. Uh, there's nowhere on the river that you can get off and on the kayak and in the canal the banks are pretty stained, lined up with uh, rocks and reinforcements. When you come up to this old boat here sunk in the river, there's always an alligator here. We'll see if we can find them. And there's always a line of turtles laying on the log. And there he is, um, just inside the trees sunning himself.
get closer to the launch point in this channel, it gets a little bit more quiet. And here is Fort King, uh, the replica of an old uh, Civil Era fort with the spikes fencing all the way around and the lookout towers. And that is how new channels are made. We put in experienced uh, kayakers and canoeists and they create their own channels. Okay, and here are some of the, well, two of the 200 plus monkeys out here. You'll hear them before you see them. Um, right now we found two of them up in the trees here. And because they're so high up into the trees and my GoPro, GoPro doesn't zoom, I wasn't able to get any video of the monkey. This was the old docks for the Jungle Cruise. Uh, we're getting close to the park again. You can still take a trail and come out here on the Ross Allen Island. And we're back to the original split point where you can go down the canal or go head out to the main river. 